Let's look at 2021 paper 1. It says the, the points A, B, C, and D are on the circumference of a circle. Okay? And the circumference of the circle has got the center, which is O. Okay, such so that the angle AOC is equal to 126. AOC is equal to 126. Then AO is parallel to DC. Take note of these points. I just said uh, AO is parallel to what? DC. So we, these two lines are what? Are parallel. AO and what? And DC are parallel. And angle AOC is equal to 33 degrees. Angle AOC is equal to 33 degrees, which is, is O. This is what? A, where is A, sorry? A, A, O, C, no. It's supposed to be uh, O, C, B. It's 33. Not A, O, C. Okay? So it's supposed to be uh, O, C, B. This one. It's supposed to be uh, O, O, C, B. This angle. Okay? O, C, B, C, 3. O, C, B. Okay? Now, they are saying uh, find angle A, D, C. That's question A. So question A, they want us to find this angle A, D, C. Angle A, D, C. Now, how do you find angle A, C, D? This angle. Angle A, D, C. They want us to find this angle. Okay? This is the angle they want us to find. That's question A. a. So let's find angle A. Okay, angle A, D, C. Angle A, D, C. Okay? So you can use uh, two methods okay, to find this angle, which is um, A, D, C. You can say, you first find this reflex, uh, this, this angle, this side. You find this uh, reflex angle, this side. Okay? Then you divide it by two, you get this angle. Okay? You find this reflex angle, this angle, this side. Okay? Then after finding this angle, you divide it by what? By two. What I mean is, I mean, you say, A, D, C is equal to, now how do you find this reflex angle? So you say, uh, 360 and degrees divided by what? Sorry, minus, sorry, minus uh, 126, you find this reflex angle. Because uh, the angle at the center is equal to what? Is equal to what? 360, this entire angle. Okay, this entire angle is what 360 degrees. Okay, this entire angle is 360. Now, out of 360, we have 126. So, for us to know this uh, remaining reflex angle, we just say 360 divided by 126 divided by what? Divided by 2. So, you move on and say 360 divided by uh, minus 126, you get what? You get uh, 2. 30, 34 divided by what? Divided by 2. Okay, so this is A, D, C. So A, D, C is equal to, now you divide, okay, and say uh, 2 into uh, 2 is what? You get 1. Then 2 into 3, you get 1. Then you're going to remain uh, a remainder of 1. Then this is what? 14. 2 into 14 is what? 17. Okay, so this is what? Uh, 117. This is what? 117, okay? 117 is uh, what? ATC. So this angle is 117 degrees. That is angle ADC, okay? So I was saying if you want this angle, which is angle ADC, okay? Since we have this angle, which is uh, 126, you find this other reflex angle on this other side. By saying now, how do you find this reflex angle? You said, you say, since this entire circle, and the angle inside this circle is what, 360 degrees. So out of 360 degrees, you have 126. So it's a 360 minus 126, you get this other angle this side. So this angle, we are saying it's at 234. So after finding this 234, for you to find this angle this side, you just divide this 234 divided by 2, then you have this angle. Okay? Okay, now move on. Alternatively, how do you find this angle? Then you can say, you can first find this angle. You can first find this angle, angle A, B, C. Okay? Angle A, B, C. Find this angle. Then since we know that these two angles are, are, the, what, are the opposite angles of the cyclic quadrature, 
and you know that these two angles, angle T and angle B, these angles are supplemented. They add up to 180. Okay? These two angles, they are called opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral, add up to 180. Okay? So for us to know this angle, first, just subtract. Okay? For us to know this angle, you subtract to say 117 minus this. But since we are assuming you don't know this angle, okay? So how do you find this angle? There's a property which states, uh, since we have got this angle at the center, we say the angle at the center is twice, okay, the angle in the circumference. The angle at the center is twice the angle in the circumference. What I mean is, we have a situation like this, people. We have uh, a situation like this, okay? Okay? Then this is our O, this is our A, this is our B, and then we have our C. Okay? So we are saying the angle at the center, the angle at the center. So if this is a 2x, this one becomes what? It becomes x. The angle at the center is twice the angle on the what? Circumference. The angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. So in our case, this angle will be given so what? It's a 1.6. So if you want to find this angle on the circumference, you divide it by what? By 2. So, okay? So since we know that this angle is what? It's 120, 126. For us to find this angle, which is angle A, B, C, you say angle A, B, C is equal to 126 divided by what? Divided by 2. Okay? And say, uh, we know our 2 into our 12 is what? It's 6. Then 2 into uh, 6 is what? It's 3. So this angle is what? It's 60, 63. Okay? So we are saying the angle at the center is twice the angle in the circumference. Okay? So if you want to find the angle at the center of the angle in the circumference, you just say this angle multiplied by 2. So 63 times 2 get 1.6. But if you want to find this angle, which is 63, you say 1.6 divided by 2. Okay? Which is what? 63. So we are saying. This angle is what? 60, 63. Okay? This angle is 63. So now we want to find this angle. And we are sure you don't know this angle. Okay? This is another method we are using. Okay? So how can you find angle A, D, C? Just say angle A, sorry. So A, A, D, C is equal to 180 minus. Uh, 63 degrees okay so a d c is equal to 180 minus 63 you get what 117 okay get 117 is this answer okay so that's the way you answer question one to question a so you can use any of these two methods okay so the last one i was saying these two angles add up to 180 they are called vertical so opposite angles of a side quadrilateral so if you know this angle, you can easily find this angle by saying 180 minus this opposite angle. You find the other opposite angle beside. Okay? So we are done with question B. Okay, let us look at question B now. Uh, they want us to find uh, O C D. Angle um, O C D. O C D. O C D. Very good. They want us to find this angle. This angle. Okay, this is angle. O C D. Now, how to find angle O C D? So, for us to find angle O C D, maybe we are going to utilize. Let us utilize these parallel lines and this transversal. Okay. So, let us find O C D. So, question B. Let me answer it from this side. So, O C D. Let, let us utilize. Uh, we are going to utilize these uh, parallel lines given. Okay. So, we have this parallel line and this parallel line. Okay. We have these two parallel lines. Okay. Uh, this is D, okay, and this is what? Uh, this is uh, C, okay? Then we have what? What do we have? We have O, okay? Okay, so we have O, this is O, this is O, and then this is what? This is A, so we have put A inside, so this is A, O, D, C, okay? Then we have got this transversal line, this line is called the transversal line. So these two are parallel. Uh, this one and this one are what? Are parallel. Take note. OA is parallel to what? DC. We have been taught. AO is parallel to what? DC. Okay? AO is parallel to what? DC. Then OC is a transversal to these two parallel lines. 
Okay? Now, in this case, what do we want? Uh, this point, take note, this one we have been given this angle. This angle we have been told is what? 126. Okay? Are we together? This one we have been told is what? It's 126. Okay? Now, since this is 126, this 126 and this angle, this angle, these are called allied angles. Okay? These are called allied, allied angles. And allied angles, they add up to 180. So this angle and this angle, they add up to 180. Okay? So out of 180, you have 126. We can easily find this one. So how do you find this angle? The angle we are told to calculate. Because this is angle what? Angle OCT. Angle OCT. This is the angle we are told to calculate. So how do you calculate this angle? So I'm going to say angle OCT. Say O C D is equal to, we know these two add up to 180. So just 180 degrees minus 126. 126 degrees. So you say O C D is equal to 180 minus 126. You get 50. 54, so 54 degrees. Okay, you get it at 54 degrees. So this angle is what? It's 50, 54 degrees. Take note. So this is our answer for question B. So angle O C T is equal to what? 50, 54. Okay? So let us find uh, the last angle. What is question say? It say uh, find angle B a O B A O. Why is B A O? B A O. B A O. So they want us to find this angle. This is the angle they want us to find. Angle B A O. This angle. Okay? This is the angle they want us to, what, to find. Now, how can you find this angle? You can even use two methods in this case. So in my case, the first method I'm going to use is uh maybe I'm going to consider this. Quadrato, this quadrato, this four-sided polygon, this quadrato, this four-sided what? Polygon. This is what I'm going to, to consider. Okay? So I'm going to say, because you see, uh, is the space going to be enough? Is the space okay? Let me try this. Let me try to use this same space. So for me to find this, I'm going to utilize this quadrato. Okay? So this quadrato, it's uh, a four-sided uh, polygon. So it is like this, this is the way the quadrato is. We have this, something like this, take note. Something like this. This is our quadrato. Okay. And this is A. And this is B. Uh, this is C. And this is uh, we have O. Okay? And we know this is uh, O. This angle, this is the angle we want. Take note. This angle we've been given is what? 33. Okay, then this one, this is 63 degrees, 63, and this reflex angle, we found this angle to be what? Uh, 230, 34. Okay, now, since this is a quadrat, which is a four sided polygon, it has how many sides? 1, 2, 3, 4. Are we together? So, what we are going to do is, we know that uh, the interior angles of a quadrato add up to what? 360. That we know why. Okay? We know that let me take it back in the line between two polygons. If you want uh, the sum of interior angles of a quadrato, we say uh, sum is equal to number of sides minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. Now, this polygon, it is a four sided polygon, it has how many sides? It has four. One, two, three, four. So where there is n, we put what? We put four. So it's say n is four minus two, then we multiply it by one eighty degrees. So we know that our four minus two get what? Two multiplied by one eighty degrees. So two times one eighty get what? Three hundred and sixty degrees. So three hundred sixty. This is the sum of interior angles of the right of a quadrature. So we're going to equate all these angles, we're going to add this angle. 33 plus 63 plus 2, uh, 34 plus this same angle is equal to what? It's equal to 360 degrees. Okay, because this is the quadrature. 
So each sum of interior angle is equal to what? 360 degrees. So we're going to say uh, this same angle we want, okay? Which is uh, angle B, B, sorry, uh, B A O is equal to 360 degrees. You're going to subtract, okay, these angles. So we're going to say 3, sorry, 234 plus 63 plus 33 okay are we together so it's say uh, equals 3 60 degrees minus so what is uh 234 uh, 234 plus 63 plus 33 you get what uh, you get uh 330 you get what 3 330 degrees okay so 360 degrees minus 330 you get what you get 30 degrees Okay, 30 degrees, so our angle B A O is equal to 30 degrees. So this angle is equal to at 30 degrees. Okay? Or that with the uh, some other method you can use to find this one, which will give you at 30 degrees. So this marks at the end of this equation. If you have issues, please contact me. Ask where I'm not clear. Okay.